Hola fellow geeks, this is a Geeks editorial. There was so much news from Comic-Con this week, we couldn't fit everything into the show proper. But now we're going to talk a little bit about the CW universe. So let's first talk about the reveal of the new Arrow costume. It's this little gentleman here. We'll show you the real costume on the screen. The Jacob, tell me, what did you think about the new costume? Uh, I like it. It's a cool change up. Uh, as, as you know, we, well as you probably know, we didn't like season three of Arrow that much it wasn't that good uh, but from, from what I've seen I think they're, they're gonna change they're gonna change some stuff up hopefully change up the people that wrote the last season uh, they, they changed that up it, it, it's a cool new feel he, they, he got rid of the jacket but he still has the hood as, as well like that the, they, they need the hood that that's how they identify Arrow um, he's shown some more skin I know you have a problem with no, no body armor with so, how, how did you? What did you think of the, the costume? God awful, <laughs> terrible. They made an already bad costume even worse. Why? Why? Now there's even more unarmored. Sex. Now they're showing the skin. It makes no sense. It's just so. I hate. I, there's nothing I like about this costume. It just seems all completely impractical. I can't, now they're showing his arms. Great. Now he's just another area that superpower beings can target and, and mess mess around with. I, I just don't like it all. I'm sorry. They try to make the arrow realistic, right? In the first season, they try to play to that realism, but it just it, none of it works. Ever since this season three's happened, I just am completely sour on Arrow, and now they're doing this, and now it just, it makes it just makes it even worse to me. Why? 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 Can't, look at um, look at Daredevil. This is the this is how you do it correctly. They show, oh look, I tried to be a guy without a, a guy that didn't have superpower, super strength. And I got my ass kicked. Yeah. Let's change that. Let's make a costume that's more realistic. The Arrow, for a time, I thought they were going to go that route because when he adopted the, um, the League of Assassins, is that what they're called? Yeah. They adopted that costume because at one point, uh, Malcolm, he gets shot. Oh, yeah, I got Kevlar. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And they made an offhanded reference to Arrow having Kevlar in his uniform at one point, which I was happy they at least made an offhanded reference. But now they're taking away coverage of his body. So now he's more exposed. Maybe they're doing a thing where they're trying to make it more lightweight but still protective at the same time. Like maybe, like, <laughs> this is comic books. You can make it so, like, you can just take like, a piece of cloth and be like, and say, like, this is, this is some super protective type, type of material. You can, but not when, you're, when you can see your skin. <laughs> I know. When you see your skin, you can't do that anymore. I know. <laughs> oh, the more bu- no, oh, they're probably, that's what they're probably going to say. It's going to be about the mobility. Well, see, my arms couldn't work too. Oh, God. I mean, his character is already, this, I find him harder and harder to believe. As they integrate him and Flash, which we're going to talk about in a moment, his character, I, I find it less and less convincing. When he was just in his own universe, not fighting superpowered beings, all right, I could suspend my disbelief, even though the, some scenes were so, so terrible. There, I mean, there's a scene where it's him and Arsenal, Red Arrow, whatever you want to call him. They have their bow and arrows. And they're against a team of like elite military units with automatic weapons, mm. right? With body armor, and they're slowly shooting off their arrows, completely exposed because you can't hide behind things like you can with a gun. And the scene just makes no sense. Even the even the sound effects, there's only a couple shots fired, because if they actually made it bang 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 bang, bang like it really would be, no one would buy it. So mm. they had to tone that down. But it, I'm sorry, I have a hard time. The arrow, the arrow just I, I got so soured in season three of the arrow. I already didn't like like a lot of the cast members of the Arrow, and then the, the few cast members that I like, like Felicity and Diggle, they started they, they ruined Felicity, and then Diggle yeah. they started ruining him too, because yeah. they they just had the same beats. They kept, it was like Walking Dead; they just kept repeating the same storylines. Yeah. So let's just put the Arrow back here. He he, he this Arrow looks great. We can, we're gonna put him back here, and I'm gonna try to keep it out of my mind now. And we'll go to a show that I do like, The Flash. We learned that there's gonna be more speedsters and other interesting things. Yes. Talk to me, the Jacob. So, if you've seen season two, it might be a little bit of a spoiler. We haven't. There's a scene at the end where you see this helmet with the wings on it uh, fly out of the portal that he uses to go back in time. Uh, so, that character is, an, is he's the original Flash from the comics. He, he's the original guy, the original um, Scarlet something. I don't know. He but the, he had he had a nickname, and they're gonna bring him into this. This, uh, this universe. So from what I know of that character, he's really old in the, in the iterations I've seen. Because like he, he's when you, when you say really old, do you mean 
like physically he's like 100 years old or something like well in the in this one show i've watched uh young justice he he's the original flash so he's older uh, okay. obviously he's from a different time so but th- how does that work it, it, uh, with it, like the speed force thing and the healing power I'm not sure. Like, is he old and like I like beat down like an, like a, like someone that's like 80 years old? I mean, or, or is he still? He, he's, he's like, aged. Yeah, he he's he's aged, but, but he, he's not old and frail. But he's like a, like a older middle aged man. Okay, yeah. the Joe I is informing us. He he's a little older, but he's not but he's not just some frail weakling. He still has his powers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but in this universe, they're, they're going to make him young because because I he's think he's breaking time barrier. Yeah, and uh, he's breaking the time barrier, and I'm not sure. Uh, how they're going to do this because from what I know of him like in the comics they retconned it so he's from a different he's from Earth 2 which is a different universe with like ju- the Justice Society not the not Justice, not Justice League alright so he's he's from Earth 2 I don't think they're going to do the alternate dimension stuff I don't think they're going to do that so I think they're just going to make, make him from a different timeline maybe they're going to make it so he's related to him somehow is like, he a, is he a good guy? yeah he's, he's okay he's like so we're gonna get more of this action. Yes. Excellent. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they're gonna, they're gonna do that. They're uh, gonna have, they're gonna have the whole, uh, they're they're gonna have the more 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 fast stuff going on. But, <laughs> more fast stuff. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why. That's the explanation we have here, folks. The more fast stuff going on in the Flash. Yes. That's our commentary. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they also released this uh, sizzle reel that was uh, for, for well, with the with the news of the casting of, of these characters. Uh, but it was just season two, like an overview of season two, with like 10 seconds of new footage with him running around with a blue streak instead of a yellow streak. I don't know what that means, but it also has some, some overview that I think was new for, like, from, from the characters. I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it was um, like a different, uh, I don't think it was anything new from the, from like the new season, it might have been something that's actually going to be in the new season. I'm not sure, but I'm excited for the, for the new season. What it's, is the third item on the list? There was one more thing in the CW. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're talking about one more thing that got released from, from the CW over over the weekend. It was uh, the new animated short that are going to be released on uh, online on CW Seed. It's called Vixen. So for those who don't know, Vixen is a character who can talk to, or not really talk to animals, but she can copy their powers. And it's gonna be, re- it's gonna be in the same universe as Flash and Arrow. This is, this is kind of, this is weird for me. Yeah. Because usually I'm not too much, and not really into the, the cartoon stuff, but I saw the trailer, and they, it's the same actors, the same yeah. voices, yeah. the same people. It's just cartoonized, but it's, but what happens there will affect what happens in the. It's the same universe. It's weird. I want. I want. I want to say it's separate, but it's not. It's the same universe. Yeah, uh-huh. and it, I think it, they're definitely expanding this more, way more rapidly than I thought they would. Because they're coming up with Vixen, which is going to be a short little thing, and then they're doing Legends of Tomorrow too, where they, they have their own Justice League now. It's really weird. Like they have all these characters. So the CW universe is like is its own thing now. It's. it's uh, I still am hoping that that CW universe will expand a little bit and bring in Supergirl. Because they got the same people involved, uh, and I know you said you you were, were kind of happy if they were separated. Yeah. But th- they were on they were already on the cover of Entertainment Weekly or v- Vanity Fair, one of those magazines together. I want to see them all together, even though that I think that will diminish this guy even more. But whatever. I, yeah. I, I like I like seeing the group. I, I think I think that's neat. Um, so is there anything else you want to say about the CW universe? I mean, it's he, well, well, let me let me say this. It's been a mixed bag. Yeah, I think I think they they started off strong with Arrow, then it went weak. I wasn't as excited about the Flash in the beginning. Some people liked it right away. I wasn't that into it right away, but then it became really strong. Um, the people that are making this, they they're also making the Super Supergirl uh, show, which had very mixed reviews in that pilot episode. I liked it more than the Jacob liked it, and now we have this Vixen thing, which I'm really just kind of unsure what, what to think about. But this this DC uh, TV universe is expanding. Uh, overall thoughts. Um, I like it. I like I like that it's expanding more. I I'm a little bit worried about like like you said about other shows like Arrow and stuff like that. Like, how are they gonna contain all of this? Yeah, because because these people a lot, a lot of people are involved in the same are in the same projects. They're stretching themselves thin. 
Yeah. Um, it reminded me when Seth MacFarlane uh, made American Dad, and then he made the Cleveland Show, and then it kind of hurt Family Guy because then, he's like oh, he's doing too too much stuff, yeah. and it's all the same style. And then the Cleveland Show got canceled. And then, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, I, but you see what I mean? Like the Air, I think Arrow might have gotten hurt by because of the best writing talent went over the Flash. Yeah. I think they're they're gonna try to do like what Star Wars is doing now with their expanded universe. They have this team which is there just to make sure that things don't contradict each other. They're, that, that's what they're there for. And Same with the, the MCU. Yeah, yeah. That, that's their only job. I think they're going to do that. They're going to have this what, like, team of a few people overlooking everything while they have all the people below them actually doing the work. So I think that's, I think that's the way to do it. They have a system like that. And I think, I think it'll work. They just got to make sure that they have the right people working on the right projects. Because they, the, they had that guy leave Arrow work on the flash right he should have stayed on he arrow should, he should have stayed but then maybe the flash wouldn't yeah. have been as good as it was yeah but we we'll have to wait and see this stuff is the, all trailers and talk and speculation when the new season starts you know geeks at the movies will be there we're gonna be talking about it we're gonna have uh, the ability to review these shows because when geeks started it was at the end of all these tv shows runs for the season yeah you know we we're, we're, we're like we're getting our upstart in the summer. Yeah, but there's gonna be a bunch of stuff to talk about coming this fall. Um, anything else you wanted to say about this, to Jacob? I just really like uh, the CW universe. I love the Flash. I really hope Arrow gets good again, <laughs> really badly. I'm I'm really excited for Vixen. I think that, I think that trailer was really good. I'm excited to see how that goes. And it could possibly lead into her as a live action character. Ooh, that that, that would be really cool. That would be a neat. That'd be spiffy. Yeah, because because they're trying this out. They're trying the uh, female led, and not not just female led, but African American female led superhero. So they're they're trying that out, and I really hope she becomes a uh, a live action character. That oh, I'd be thrilled if that happened. That would be so neat. Yeah, because I, I I do like the other other mediums, and they do this with Star Wars with the comic books and the books. Yeah, but we don't want the segment to run too long, folks. Check us out uh, on YouTube and Facebook. Check out our our episode eight this week for. All kinds of information, because this stuff all came from Comic-Con regarding the CW Universe, which is an overwhelming explosion of stuff. Uh, but for now, this has been the Jacob Desitels, the Shane Goodrich, and this has been Geeks at the Movies.